Hi, I'm Curtis Bowdy from the Scope of Science, and today we're going through 12 facts about poo. If you were surprised by my space tights, consider this. There were 12 men that walked on the moon back in the 60s and 70s, and that was a long time ago, but they left poo there that is still there in bags on the moon. Number two. Get it? Poo is mostly water. I mean, it's like 75% water. But there are also around 100 billion bacteria per gram of poo, and 100 million viruses and archaea. That shit is alive. Literally. Number three. You can get fecal transplants. That's when, like, a professional, like a medical professional, takes someone else's poo, basically, and puts it inside of your gut. Because all of those bacteria make up an ecosystem, and when it's out of whack for you, it can make you really sick. And in fact, fecal transplants are an effective treatment method for a lot of bacterial infections, like CDI, which kill tens of thousands of Americans every year. So, someone else's poo could save you. Some of the microbes in poo produce a gas called methane which can be used as a fuel source. And in fact, there are some city buses in some places that run off of this gas. So there are people that are riding buses that have fueled those buses with their own poo, which is pretty cool. Number five, there's a chart for that. It's called the Bristol Stool Chart, and it tells you about your poo. It's pretty intuitive, but you should look at it because numbers three and four are considered normal and healthy, whereas if you're regularly having poos that aren't like that, you might have a problem, and you should get that looked into. A bonus fact is that, on average, a regular person poos once a day, so if you're not doing that, you might want to get that looked into, too. Squatting like this may seem weird, but actually most of the world poos like this. And it's been proven to be about two and a half times faster than not squatting. And there's also health claims that it may, you know, reduce the risk of hemorrhoids or things like colon diseases. Though we're still waiting on clinical trials for that. Though, I must say, I'm a fan. Now, if you think that squatting is weird, consider bidets. They're an alternative to toilet paper, and they just use water. Now, if you think that sounds weird, but just consider this. If America switched to using bidets instead of this, they would save 15 million trees and hundreds of millions of kilograms of chlorine that's used for bleaching this stuff white. And you might be thinking, oh, but it would waste more water, right? Well, it takes 1.7 trillion liters of water to make the toilet paper in the first place, so bidets are way better for the environment. I'm going to be getting one. Now, this one might seem a little bit out of left field, so please bear with me on this. But for most of human history, and for a lot of people in a lot of the world that don't have access to toilets and bidets, they use their left hand to clean up after themselves, which as you can imagine is pretty unsanitary. Now, the famous scientist Carl Sagan hypothesized that it is that uncleanly act involving the left hand that has biased most human languages against left. I mean, think about phrases like this. Left for dead, you can be left out, you can have two left feet, or you can be out of left field. All bad things, versus we can have rights, we can be in the right, we can have a right-hand man, and we can be right off the bat. Now, I think that it's really fascinating that if this hypothesis is true, a lot of human culture is biased from the way that we wipe our butts, including, potentially, things like if we vote for left-wing or right-wing politics. That's pretty amazing. A recent study done in the UK found that one in six cell phones was contaminated with E. coli from fecal matter, meaning that people are either not washing their hands or they're using their cell phone on the john, or both of those things. So please, for your own health and for the health of others, just wash your hands. If you're watching this video, you probably have a toilet and take it for granted. So I want you to consider for a moment that billions of people don't have access to toilets. Which leads me to fact number 11, that 2 billion people only have access to water that has been contaminated with fecal matter. And that leads to over half a million deaths every year. 
This is 2017, and that is completely unacceptable, which is why November 19th is World Toilet Day. It's a day where you can go out, regardless of how squeamish you are, and talk about toilets, and the fact that this is a huge health crisis that we need to start actually addressing. So please go out and raise awareness about this. It's important. And thanks for watching. Okay.